everyone. This is Allison Stewart with Dollar Templates and Fonts. Thank you so much for joining me today. This tutorial covers how you can create a template from a Microsoft Word 2010 document. You know, a template is a huge time saver when it comes to um, modifying or creating a document that you use over and over again. For example, let's say you have a letter or an envelope or report that you find yourself recreating every day. Instead of recreating the document, you don't have to. You can just um, pull up the template that you've created that's similar to the design that you want to use and um, change the information within it and then save it. And when you save the template um, within as your document or as a document, um, the layout of the original template is intact. It's preserved. So none of the information within that template changes at all. Another good thing about templates is that you can um, turn any document in Word into a template or you can start from scratch. I'll show you in this tutorial how you can create a template for a letter starting from scratch. In this letter, I like to include a logo in the header, so I'll go ahead and add it in. To access our, our header, we'll select the Insert tab. And then we'll go to the Header and Footer section and click on Header. In this case, I kind of want to use a blank option, so I'll use the first um, option on top of our list. And with that selected, I'll go ahead and go to the Insert tab again, and I'll click on Picture. I want to use this logo here, so I'll double-click it to add it onto our page or into the header. Next, I want to right-align this logo. I can press Ctrl R to do that. Or I can even select the Home tab and click the Right Align button. Now I'm going to get out of the header by double-clicking below. As you can see, the, the um, logo is now grayed out, letting me know that I'm inside my regular document outside of the header. Now I'm going to go ahead and modify this um, letter a little bit more. I'm going to change the top margins a little bit, so I'll select the Page Layout tab and I'll click the Page Setup dialog box launcher and I'll change the top margin to 2.7 and I'll click OK. Perfect. Now I need to add in a date for my letter and I want the date to, um, to automatically update for me. So I'll select the Insert tab again and I'll go this time to the Text group and select Date and Time. I want to use this format here right here. So I'll select it and I'll click OK. As you can see, the update automatically is checked. Um, this is optional. If you would rather um, update this yourself, you can uncheck the option. I'll use that, so I'll click OK. Next, I want to add in the address block, so I'll add that in myself. Type in company, um, address, city, state, and zip. Press enter and put dear, this could be whoever or whomever, with a comma or a colon, whichever you prefer. And then this is a body of my letter that goes here. I'll press enter a few times, add in a sincerely, put my name in, or you can put in a signature if you have one. Oops, my cursor moved on me. Okay, dollar templates, moved again, and fonts, and that's it. Now, let us save this letter as a template. To do that, select the File tab, click Save As. We'll change the Save As Type option to Word Template. And we'll name this whatever we want. I'll call it My letter template and on the side here I'll click templates to place it under the template area and I'll click save and you're done. Now let's say you wanted to access this template later because you wanted to maybe 
um, use it to create a letter in the future. I'll press Control N to open a new document, select File, select New, I'll go to My Templates, and this is where Word places a template that we just saved. I'll select My Letter Template, the Document option is selected, and I'll click OK. It loads to my page. And you notice that the top file name says document 6 or wherever the document number might be for you. You can add in the information that you like and resave it or just save it. And as you'll note, the, the, the document save as type option is changed to Word document. Type in your file name, maybe letter to teacher, and click save. And you're all done. Thank you again for joining me. I hope that you found this tutorial helpful. Please leave your comments below if you have any questions or concerns. I'll love to hear from you. And if you need help with any of the tutorials, please feel free to visit my blog at Dollar Templates and Fonts.